the Coldwood. It's a place I knew nothing about since I'm a foreigner to these lands. However, I did pick up a book at Bear Run as well before coming north to here. The Coldwood is located between the spine of the world, Raven Mountains and Ice Mountains, a wild place. The Coldwood was largely untouched by civilization. Most woodcutters and homesteaders avoided it. The forest was full of pine, birch, and spruce trees. Though the heights were covered almost exclusively by pines and spruces, in the wintertime the snow was so deep the trees were often bent down. Animals that could be found inhabiting the Coldwood included your typical wolves and elk, among other smaller woodland creatures. Giant spiders and wargs, among the more fantastical beasts, have also been spotted. The cold wood was also haunted by a number of undead that included crawling claws, dread warriors, packs of ghasts and ghouls, shadows, specters, whites, and wraiths. Prior to 1366 DR, currently is 1370, a group of giant killers known as the Blood Riders commonly operated out of this forest. Orcs, Ettons, Treants, and Lycanthropes have also been encountered here. Uthgart barbarians hunted in the area, but would not cut any living trees and kept fires to a minimum to protect the forest. The Red Tiger tribe considered the southern part of the wood their territory. Several bands of outcasts from Uthgart society were known to live around the area as well. Rumors and Legends Around 1366 DR, it was rumored that a large number of wood giants were living deep within the cold wood alongside treants and wood elves. That must be why giant killers operated out of here. So, it's bereft of civilization, full of wild beasts and undead. This far north, the human and humanoid populations tend to dwindle, and it's much more wild than the lands I came from. I'm used to seeing people around or signs of them living in the area. And since coming to Neverwinter, I find it a bit strange to go through lands that are uninhabited. It feels empty to me, like something is not just missing, but wrong. Hmm, like I shouldn't be in some of these places, such as the Coldwood or the Neverwinter Wood. I was never much of a fan of traveling into the wilderness. However, with the Summoning Stone, at least I don't have to worry about resting in a dangerous area if I don't feel like it. I guess it takes getting used to. However, I don't want to get used to it. It's civilization for me and nothing else. Here we go again. Alright. I have to destroy this brazier. That's how they're coming into the room. There we go. This should be the last fire elemental. Ah, Tommy. I like it when you heal yourself, you make it a lot easier on me. There we go. Okay, let's get to work. There's a chest here. Ah! I'm paralyzed. Wait for it to end. Tommy, do your damn job. We had a hard fought battle here. There was a lot of a uh, shadows here. And then a fire elemental decided to join in. Just for the fun of it. Now, what are these four gongs for? A dog barks. Puma snarls. A bear growls. 
A dragon roars. Uh, what order does this... That probably is to open up that door. Ah, no can do. Have to find the proper key. We need the proper order. Well, let's keep searching down this hallway. Another fire elemental. <laughs> Okay, this is into the main chamber from the other side. It's blocked. Blocked both ways. It's a bit of a joke. Well, there's only so many combinations we can try to open that door. Shouldn't be impossible. Oh. Another brazier. We'll have to destroy it. I thought there was another one. Ah! Tommy, don't die! Stupid halfling. I can't get up. Have to kill this brazier. Well, you had to sacrifice yourself. There. Just you and me now. Hopefully there'll be no more of these things. Oh, I've got to go rest and return. All right, what's next? Well, we've been down this hallway, haven't we? I think this may be the first way we went. I'm not sure where this air elemental came from. the main place. Teleportation circles there. Fire summoning chamber. Library. Fire summoning chamber. Library. What? The low pedestal gleams in an alabaster white shadows playing across its fluted column. Oh, I guess oh, there's a door here that we missed. Oh, more 
shadows. I hate these things. They drain your strength. Yeah. Two down, four more to go. Focus on one at a time. fight. They don't even hurt you, they just drain everything from you. All of your strength. Alright, there's a corpse here. Lesser restoration. Another corpse. Okay, let's get to searching. There's a trap I can see on this one. Disable it. Alright, don't see any okay, trap okay, here. Okay. Unlock that. Corpse. Ooh, sonic trap kit. A Rakshasa's oh, eye. Done. I don't think I have any need for that, but I'll take it anyways. 156 gold. A box. Greater restoration. That is actually a very nice scroll. Identified arrow. And a corpse. Ooh, slad's tongue. Bolt of fire. Sell so that. So we just need the wand now. This room looks like a functional wizard's lab. Maybe the wand will be in here. The chest. Trap. Quartz crystal, ring of milf. This ring is a finely fashioned band of purest gold, though sporadic splashes of discoloration mar its otherwise smooth surface. The Imp's Prison. What, the, what is this about? Popular legends tell of sylvan creatures luring men within trees where exist entire kingdoms known as the fairy realms. A less popular legend tells of a similar mischievous group of imps. According to the tale, these imps lure people into their realms by taunting them with something that they may desire, such as wealth or pleasure. Once the person follows, entranced by the whisperings of the imps, he finds himself within a twisted abyss bereft of hope or the possibility of escape. Sounds worse than the Nine Hells, actually. Well, no. Just as bad, but in a different way. Book piles. Still looking for traps. Port last. Stone skin. Bookshelf. The Adventures of Grin Richard and Woo Wee. Laboratory notes. 
These appear to be the lab notes of Cyril, the mage who created this laboratory. I believe I have at last unlocked the keys to creating the Staff of Command. As I suspected all along, the key ingredients were a Rakshasa Eye and a Quartz Crystal, which I have. However, determining the proper spell to cast on the components once they were combined in my laboratory was not as simple as I had at first assumed. My error came in looking for an obscure solution and missing the stunningly obvious answer right in front of me. Of course, the necessary spell to create a Staff of Command is dominance. I must remember this valuable lesson. The most obvious solution is often the right one, even when dealing with the Arcane. I don't deal with the Arcane, I deal with the Divine. I don't know if this Staff of Dominance can even help me. Nothing here helped. I have to get into that room. Which means I need to come up with the right combination. Maybe it goes in strength. Dragon first. Was this the puma? The bear? The dire wolf? Or a wolf? Let's go the opposite way. This one seems to be the right one. Let's try this one, then. Ah, okay, so Puma, dog, wasn't wolf. Let's try the bear. All right, we seem to be on the right. It's opened. Well, that was easy. It was weakest to toughest. What is this? You will never take the snow globe, insignificant mortal. There's a trap right there, Tommy. <laughs> of course you had to trigger it. Ah! So, my dire wolf. Listen, because you didn't. Mm. Keep it busy for a moment, will you? I don't know if it's a good idea to be in this ring of its. Ah. It's damaging us, it damages everything over time. Alright, I hope this will help. I don't care if Tommy dies right now. I'm looking up for myself. Seems to work. Alright, let's try killing this thing. I don't know how long this will last. Tommy, try to stay alive, will you? Why don't I use this potion of speed? Ah, there goes... I'm no longer immune to its fire. Gotta kill it quick. There. And you didn't die. Kind of a miracle, actually. Shadow, come to me. still does. Obviously, it's enchanted somehow. 
before we touch anything. There's four chests in the room. Is there another door over there? Nope. No other door. Let's inspect these chests. Come on. You're the one with the keen eye for traps. Okay, okay. Topaz. Come on, Tommy. Anything? Okay, okay. Ah, oh, it's done. Sapphire. Ah, oh, okay. Why well, spotted this trap? Come on. Both trapped. Hopefully that uh, will, uh, done. I think his strength has been sapped. Harp of Pandemonium. Like their namesake, Plain, these instruments produce shifting, disconsolate tones that seem to penetrate the ear and confuse the senses. When strummed by a talent, these random notes coalesce into fields of pure chaos, turning dedicated enemies into dazed idiots. Huh. Be a big windfall if I was a bard. Locked. Greater spell mantle. Mage. Mage scroll. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. This looks like the other ones. What's this? The snow globe. Ha! <laughs> well, that fire elemental did say I won't get the snow globe. What's so important about this thing? Roughly the size of an ogre's fist, this crystal sphere is far heavier than it would appear. Inside the globe can be seen an exquisitely detailed miniature realm, right down to the tiny figures of dwarves and triads populating the landscape. From time to time, the position of these figures seems to shift and change, as if they were somehow moving too slowly for the naked eye to see. When flipped or turned, drifting flakes of snow swirl and settle over the figures within the globe, covering the tiny world in a blanket of purest white. There's also a strong aura of magic surrounding the snow globe, and I sense that despite its fragile appearance, it would be virtually impossible to destroy the glass casing. What a curious item. Hmm. I'm not sure what benefit it gives, though. What's the point of it, other than just looking at it? Alright, so that's done. We still... I did tell that, uh... Nax. Hmm. He offered a reward of a magical snow globe. I we'll already have it. What will he give me if I... Hmm. The snow globe is obviously a powerful artifact. Lillian Cambridge, the archaeologist Aaron Gen mentioned could be found in the drinking house at Bearan as well, might be able to provide more information about it. I am curious about it. What if it is... has a benefit that could really help me? Alright, to get Nax out, though... We didn't get a wand. That's the problem. I didn't get a scroll, but a scroll wouldn't help either. Rakshasa's eye. I can't cast dominance. That's what a mage does. Alright, let's go see if we can't get Nax out. He better provide a reward. Maybe we missed something we can find on the way back, I don't know. Just need a wand. It's this, a diary page. This appears to be an old and crumbling page from a diary. The mountain witch is no more. I have defeated the hag, Nabakcha. Nabaka or Nabacha, in a summoning duel. I began with a standard opening, the summoning of a feral cat. 
She countered with the rather predictable conjuration of a large hunting dog to best my feline. I then escalated the proceedings by summoning a great bear to devour her canine champion. Nabacha was not expecting such a bold move. Caught off guard, she summoned a great red dragon. Ah, this is the means to open that door. A classic case of panicked overreaction. Needless to say, the worm was enraged at her foolishness and promptly devoured her. Perhaps I should commemorate this victory in a song, something that encompasses the essence of all the combatants in the duel. Feline, Kaline, Ursine, and Draconic. I already figured that out. Famous citizens of the Sword Coast. The nature of water summoning. <sighs> into a summoning the number of natural pools in the underground chambers that can be easily converted into summoning cisterns. Once I have completed the construction of my laboratory, summoning a powerful elemental to do my bidding should simply require the addition of a slotty tongue to the pool along with the casting of Melf's acid arrow. Hmm. Let's go find this Nax again. Foolish me, I have the ring that was needed. Cast Melf's, Melf's acid arrow. A ring of Melf, it only makes sense. Okay, let's put the slotty tongue in there. Where's the ring? Sure, that'll work. If I have to cast it on it. I've wanted a water elemental. Who calls to me, and for what purpose am I summoned to this plane? Ah, so another water elemental is summoned forth to this plane. Tell me, human creature, what would you have me do? Hmm. Who are you? What are you? I am obviously a water elemental. You performed the ritual and summoned me. Now I am bound to obey one command. You might wish me to perform some random task, or perhaps you wish me to gift you with a boon. Simply command me. Hmm. I'm looking to free the enchanter Nax. Very well. If you wish it, this deed will be performed, and then I will absolve myself of your control. And you tell me of this dungeon. This was once the lair of the mage Ciro Lyricus greatest of all the summoners. Here he practiced great magic and created many servants. I am the greatest of his servants, though I sense my creator is no more. Yet even within Ciro's death, my power is bound to this summoning pool. You have summoned me, human male, and so by the magic of Ciro Lyricus, I must perform a task for you. Yes. Free Nax. Yes, go free him. Very well. I do as you wish. Oh. Well, that was easy. Put the proper ring back on. Ring of Melf. Hello. Free! I'm free! I suppose I have you to thanks for this, so please accept my humble gratitude before I take my leave. Hmm. Freeze, Nax. Cough up the reward you promised. Ah, yes, the gold and the powerful magic items. The truth is, I don't have any gold in me. See for yourself. My pockets are empty. As for the snow globe and my other magic items, well, I had them when I came in, but the wizard's magic stripped them from me when I was imprisoned. I thought they would reappear when I was released. But obviously I was mistaken. Still, I think I know how you can get the snow globe back, at least. I already have got the snow globe, you better come up with another reward. Well, this is most awkward, isn't it? You have no need of my information, and I have nothing else to offer. Perhaps we should just consider this a good deed and part ways. <laughs> I have no reason to kill you. Yet. Just get out of here. 
Then I shall go at once from this accursed place. The last thing I need to do is stumble into another one of Cyril's traps. No gold. I already have the snow globe. Bit of a waste of time. All right. Since we still can't open up this northern this door to the north, I guess it doesn't matter now. Let's go back and return back to the forest. We're gonna need to rest soon, but I think we're okay for right now. There's a lot of fighting in here. All right, so this section of the forest we've already explored. There's nothing else here. the call of those animals. Okay, so let's go around back to the cold wood. We didn't go to the north, although I'm not sure what else is here that we need. We have the snow globe, the star sapphire though. The gem was buried with the mage Leanne Sheru, whose trap infested tomb is believed to be hidden somewhere in the cold wood. <laughs> Another mage. Uh, tomb. Well, the other one was not a tomb, but... What's this? Zombies? Here comes Take this. Don't get to use this that often anymore. Ow. They... they killed my shadow. Is that zombie? Casting spells. That's unusual. These aren't weak zombies, not like the ones we face in Neverwinter. Easy, but bridge here. Ah, figured Your something would come. Draws nine. This whole place is full of undead, I take it. Look at all these piles of skulls. Some more undead will come from each one, I take it. Well, between my uh Flail and my turn undead will be okay. I'd like to outright destroy them though. I guess they're too powerful for that. I'd like to have another flail actually. One that's meant for undead. Let's put this in here. To go. There. This one's meant for killing undead. There's a powerful enchantment against undead. Yeah, now I'm really curious about that snow globe. Pray. Whatever gods you worship. that. It's like thunder. Corpse. Not quite a skeleton or a zombie. This nothing. I love this part. Ooh, that's a vampire. All right, still undead. Ah, and it hits hard. Interesting. There's so much undead here. This was somebody's camp at one point. 
Because the vampire is staying here, preying on anyone that comes by. Corpse. Raised dead. Should try to use that on you, Tony, next time you die. Like the fool you are. Let's see, let's fix that. Raised dead. Alright, I don't know about resting here, but we'll try it. Hopefully undead won't attack. Alright, nothing came in the night. Shadow come. Let's go, Tommy. Corpse over there. Another one behind me. Necklace. Gold necklace. Zombies pass this old gate. Potion of Endurance. A mummy. Ah, it didn't do anything. Gotta watch out for disease with these ones. What's well, something's casting spells over there? Greater mummy. I don't have my shadow. Need help, though. I'll try that one more time. Turn undead. Ah, there goes my summons. Didn't do anything. I think they feared Tommy. All right, mummy. This may take a while. Potion of endurance. As powerful resists against my weapon. I don't speak undead mummy. I don't know what it just said. Come on, Tommy. Only the cowards run from battle. What's wrong with you? This is why they call it the cold wood. Not very hospitable, is it? Hmm. So, old ruins we're supposed to be looking for. What's the name? Leyen Sharu. Trapped infested tomb is believed to be hidden somewhere in the cold wood. We need the star sa sapphire. Nothing here. May have been years since somebody actually visited here. Well, the corpses, though, aren't completely rotted, so... Maybe not fun. years. Weeks? Months? Potion of Bless. There's no animals to feast on the corpses, so I guess the maggots will have to do its work. Still, maggots will clean a corpse within... I don't know how long. I'm not an expert. More mummies, sir. What's this? Are these more vampires? Ooh, that's a doom knight. Uh, this is going to be a fight. Barkskin. Something else here. What is it? Another doom knight. Uh, okay. To use a potion of haste. Kill it! Don't die! Nah. Your end draws nigh. It's dead. 
Again. Maybe I didn't need that potion to save that for a really tough fight. Didn't need to use it. I thought we were in trouble there. Doom Knights are usually very tough adversaries. Wish I could cast that spell haste. Corpse. Yeah, any animals out here. The dead will feast on them. So only the maggots rule. Alexandrite. Gold ring. I'm gonna check this. Yep. Well, these are old ruins. Trap laden? Another corpse over there. I hate traps. Horrid wilting. Powerful mage spell, is it not? Cure critical wounds. Well, that helps. Two of them. Light from the sun is just barely filtering through the trees. Fifty gold sapphire. So far, no traps. Is this loot? Ale. <laughs> Let's drink it. After all I've just been through, I could use a bit of a drink and a nice big burp. Trap chest, come on. Do your job, Tommy. This looks like the main part of the ruins. Okay, okay. Locked. Bolts of lightning. Ah, uh, it's done. Corpse. Fire opal. Potion of aid. Kind of useless potion. Locked. Ah, uh, it's done. Oof, stupid spider. Healer's kit. Good one. More undead. Ooh, that's quite a lot of them. Ah, Tommy. I don't think I did anything. Ah. Ah, they disrupted my spell. Fine. Take this. Spider's gone. All right, let's kill these things. Healer's kit. 88 gold. Ooh, they were hanging people out here. 
I'd say it's been a while since anyone lived here. Not sure why they would build a gallows right there. Oh, nice potions we're getting. At least. Alright, let's just look over this way. I don't think there's anything. Dead end. So, the tomb entrance is right here, but let's explore around. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to a place full of traps. You will never sully Leon's tomb, mortal sludge. Vampire. Ah! I'm paralyzed. Dazed. Ah! Wasn't expecting this. There we go. I'm free. Maybe we'll be facing vampires inside. Look for traps. Fire opal. Where's the actual entrance to go in? It's supposed to be a tomb. Oh, here it is. Well, there's two doors. Interesting. Okay, let's just explore the surrounding area before we commit ourselves to a place like that. Another corpse. This is unexpected. Three sets of armor, all... M that is weird. All enchanted. Well, I can sell it for good gold. Well, it actually was the most wealthy corpse I've ever looted in my life. Seemingly. For all I know, they're all three are trapped. Whoa. Okay, ghast. There's more of them. The ghouls. Don't do anything. I cannot cast. I cannot use turn undead for a while. Not until I rest. Traps. We'll rest before we go into that tomb. Tomb, not tome. Tomb. You're just gonna stand there? Are you paralyzed? Locked. Eighty-three gold. Cure critical wounds potion. Well, if I'm gonna keep on finding those, it's gonna help. Save me a lot of gold, around 500 each. Ah, uh, it's done! 85, healer's kit. Ah, uh, it's done! Oof, more armor. Another chest over here. Ah. Okay, okay. This is pretty much the entire area. Ninety-five gold. All right, let's go back to the tomb entrance. We'll return 
to the temp the church of, of Tyr. Temple of Tyr. And I'll sell off all my items. <laughs> 